Hey gorgeous souls. So today, talking about the importance of setting boundaries. This can be one of the trickiest things to do in our life. And as I spoke about in the self-love video, and if you haven't watched that, make sure that you jump back and have a look at that, the importance of self-love. If we are unable to uphold our boundaries, it A, impacts our self-love, but is also a reflection of our level of self-love. Boundaries are often very difficult sometimes to uphold, especially if we have the trauma response of fawn. So there's four different trauma responses that we can go into when we are triggered in life or when we feel unsafe or scared uh, or not valued. And uh, that can be number one is the fight response. So we want to fight or challenge whoever's saying or doing uh, whatever. Uh, number two is the flight response. We want to leave. We just literally disappear out of that situation. We do anything we can to avoid confrontation. Three, we have the freeze response. We become paralyzed. We can't speak up. We can't use our voice. Or four, we have the fawn response, which is people pleasing. And this is what makes it so challenging sometimes to be able to uphold our personal boundaries. Now, what are boundaries? Um, this has been a, a thing that I've really done a lot of research around recently, certainly for myself personally, um, but also uh, working with my clients because when we're not able to uphold our boundaries, we will find ourselves feeling and living in anger and resentment. Um, that's a huge indicator. Basically, that's our defender part, um, particularly if we're low in physical energy. Our defender kind of rises up and it's letting you know, hey, you're already depleted. Hey, this is not OK. Hey, I'm kind of tired of living life like this or feeling like I'm the one that's always responsible or I'm the one that's always got to deal with it or I'm the one that's always left uh, to handle this. Um, you know, the buck stops with me um, or feeling like you've got to constantly be proving your worth, your value to others. Uh, and these are some of the beliefs, obviously, that can play out. And I'll talk more about that uh, in the importance of healing your mental body. Um, but all of those things impact your ability to be able to actually set clear boundaries with others. So what are clear boundaries? Boundaries are anything that help to define who you are. So these can be your likes, these can be your dislikes, these can be things that you'd like to experience more of and things that you want to experience less of. Uh, your boundaries are things like, um, uh, you know, how you use your personal time, how you use your personal resources, such as your energy, the amount of space, the personal space, so they can be a very, uh, you know, a physical boundary, uh, meaning that, you know, you like to be a certain distance to speak to people or you you only feel like you'd like to speak to people for a particular amount of time, depending on what that person's energy like is like or what it is that they're wanting from you. Um, again, all of these things are very personal and it is literally what helps to set up a safe container for you to be you in, for you to fulfill your full potential, for you to be your unique and vital and most precious, valuable self and to be able to feel supported and to be flourishing in the world. And this is what can create your boundaries because if you are not listening to your boundaries, you will find yourself continually overgiving or saying yes when you mean no. And there's a few different types of, of boundaries, so I'll just explain what they are. Uh, so number one, uh, there's no boundaries. <laughs> anything goes. You can do anything you want to me. Um, say anything you want. And, you know, that's kind of like when we feel a bit like a doormat. And uh, I certainly lived that way for uh, quite a few years of my life. And it's painful. It is really, really painful. We often feel completely discarded, completely devalued. Uh, and it means it's a huge reflection um, of us not loving or valuing ourselves, or feeling completely scared that if I did speak my mind, up that I wouldn't be valued um, or I would lose love or lose, lose validation or lose approval externally in some way, shape or form. So um, 
we can have no boundaries at all. We can have loose boundaries. These are where like, it's like either you, you're not articulating them clearly. You're like, oh, it's kind of like, yeah, not really kind of okay. Um, as opposed to, hey, this is actually not okay for me. Um, and speaking your boundary really clearly. Um, so it might be loose boundaries or you might set a boundary quite clearly, but then transgress that boundary yourself later on. Now that's not to say that other people may not honor or respect your own boundaries, but having your boundaries upheld is actually your responsibility. It's not other people's responsibility. If somebody continues to transgress and violate your boundaries after you've clearly articulated those, that's your responsibility to either move yourself out of that situation, to disengage from that person, either for a period of time or perhaps leave that relationship. Um, and again, I can really get and understand and appreciate that's can be really, really challenging to do as well. And this is why often having someone emotionally support you um, or support uh, and encourage you to hold this space for yourself is really, really important as well. Um, so again, we can have loose boundaries where we either don't articulate clearly or we say, yes, uh, this is my boundary, uh, only to kind of go, oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess it's okay later on. Um, now, some of the other boundaries that we might have uh, is a hard boundary. And this is kind of where we get sick of, you know, being the doormat and we might step into kind of like our bitch energy where it's like, no, I'm not doing that for you. No, I told you before. I'm absolutely. So it's kind of like, uh, it's, it feels more empowering obviously than being the doormat, but often it can be damaging to relationships simply because of the energy with which that boundary. So it's a very rigid wall. It tends to be a very concrete wall. Uh, it's not flexible. It doesn't have any movement. Um, and generally it's a very hard energy with which we're disclosing that boundary in. Um, and then we can also have healthy boundaries and healthy boundaries are a way where we're honoring and respecting how that boundary may impact somebody else. And we're sharing from a place of true vulnerability, um, not as a way of defending or justifying why we need the boundary. I just want to make that clear. Um, but it's explaining or sharing, um, why that boundary is really important to you and how it supports you as a person in order to create greater intimacy and connection with uh, another person. So when we explain, you know, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say no, and I love you and I care about you, and maybe we can negotiate like another time or another way of doing this that can support us both, so it creates a win-win situation. That's a very loving, a very healthy boundary, um, and it's still being able to honor you, but also honor the other person within this. Um, and that doesn't mean that we're taking on guilt and shame because somebody else feels really hurt or how they've perceived that. Again, we have uh, a responsibility for how we deliver that message and our energy around that message. Um, but it is the absolutely the other person's responsibility in how they perceive that and what they make that mean personally. And we don't have control over that. And that sometimes can be a little bit scary. And there's three reasons why we don't set boundaries. Uh, and I have shared this in a blog post before, but I just want to really articulate that on this message as well is number one, we're scared that we're, um, we're going to be not loved or misunderstood if we articulate this boundary. So when I say this, they will reject me. When I say this, they'll move away from me. Um, when I say this, I lose my sense of belonging or it's a fear of losing belonging. Number two is fear of our safety, fear of loss of safety. So when I say this or when I act this way or when I do this or set my boundary, they're going to be aggressive at me. They'll get angry at me. They'll yell at me. They may hurt me physically. Um, so again, it can be that fear of loss of safety um, that stops us from actually putting those boundaries in place. The third reason or the third big fear as to why we don't put a boundary in place is fear of not being a good person. So when I say this, when I do this, um, or when I you know, uphold my boundary in this particular way, they'll think I'm a bad person. They'll think I'm selfish. They'll think I'm unloving. So it ends up being a bit of a values conflict for ourselves because particularly if we have a belief, and certainly this was my belief for a long time and still sometimes can play out, is I'm a truly loving person. So if I'm saying this boundary and I notice it's hurting somebody, then I feel in conflict even though uh, I know that setting healthy boundaries is the way for me to be truly loving simply because I will be in anger and resentment if I say yes to something where my body's actually really saying no to that. 
So knowing these things uh, and being aware of them help us to have the courage to really set healthy boundaries. But it's so, so critically important because often burnout is the pure representation of not living authentically, meaning we're not expressing our boundaries because our boundaries are a representation, a container to represent who we are and how we wish to be and what helps us feel loved and valued and supports our energetic uh, boundaries as well and uh, how we feel about ourselves and truly honors and respects who we are. So all of these things are, are super important in terms of being able to maintain your boundaries in order to overcome burnout. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please send me a message if you find uh, that you are unable to set boundaries, you feel like you've got no boundaries or you're unsure of that process. Uh, this is something that we dive deep into in my Thrive program. Please reach out, send me a message and see if and how I might be able to help you. Let's have a chat, see where you're currently at health wise and uh, what uh, you are needing in terms of support to be able to come back on track feel amazing in yourself, reclaim your health, your energy, and most importantly, your authentic self. Lots of love to you all. Have a great day.